Thursday and Emily or MK Fit is doing her hitness challenge again this year just like I did last year so I'm planning to participate don't know if I'll be able to complete it this year just because of all the stuff that's going on but it's basically you have to do 12 of her hit workouts before Christmas Eve so you can kind of fit them in however you want to do five in one week, do three per week, just, and I'm just gonna do them whenever I can. So today is kicking it off, the first hit miss for 2021, and she's got a new Christmas themed video, so I'm excited to see what the music is for it. But yeah, I thought about possibly trying to get two in today, but I think I'm just gonna stick with one because I still need to shower, eat dinner, I'm going to call my aunt, and I'd like to get to bed somewhat early tonight because I don't know what it is about this early winter season, even though it's technically not winter by the calendar, but it is by temperature, but my dark circles have been extra prominent lately, so I'm hoping I can maybe get a little extra sleep tonight because tomorrow I'm going after work to my boyfriend's for the weekend and we're gonna see some Christmas lights and then Sunday I have the parade that I did last year we're doing that again this year it's mobile again this year so that's on Sunday so it's gonna be a busy weekend that's why I'm trying to get everything done tonight so I'll be ready for it and I'll share as much as I can with you but right now, let's get to working out. Some fun tea swift. Couldn't quite get the hang of that turn, but fake it till you make it, as Emily would say. It is Saturday, and as I said, I'm at my boyfriend's. His name is James. I don't think I've told you that, but that way I don't have to keep calling him my boyfriend. But uh, James went to an appointment, so I'm just hanging out till he gets back and making myself comfortable. Got some YouTube on the TV, and yeah, just hanging out and chilling. I've got my festive Christmassy shirt on. The back has Santa, I can't really show you right now. But we might get some breakfast when he gets back because I haven't had my breakfast or coffee yet. And I know we're gonna see lights tonight and we'll see what else the day brings and if I'm brave enough to whip out the camera. Let's hope so, I'm really gonna try. But now, back to Jessica and some YouTube. Hello, I am home. I need to catch you up on my weekend. It did not go as expected in many aspects. Don't want you to get the wrong idea. It was still good. Just a lot of unexpected things happened. But the good news is Duncan's okay. He was here on his own for a little bit, but he's, he's perfectly fine. He had a good little alone time and now he's happy I'm back. But of course it's almost, oh, he's not even staying in the camera. Of course it's almost dinner time, so. He's all about that. 
but last I talked to you, I was going to be going to breakfast, which I did. Breakfast was good, didn't share it. Went to the craft fair, only got a couple pictures. That was also interesting to see what, because I haven't been to a craft fair in forever, and it was interesting to see what people had. Then the plan was to go to dinner with my boyfriend and, or with James and his parents, which we did. But we went to a Texas roadhouse and I think we would all agree that it was the worst experience we've ever had at a Texas roadhouse and possibly at any restaurant. It just seemed like one thing after the other went wrong. They told us it would be an hour wait, ended up being closer to an hour and a half. Then the service once we were seated was not good. And to save you the long story, it just was not a good experience. The manager did come and check at the end after having talked to us about a couple of other things and uh, resolved it for us basically, but yeah. Needless to say, because of that, it took us much longer to have dinner than we were anticipating because we got there at five o'clock, but didn't leave till close to eight o'clock. We did go to the place that we wanted to to see lights. However, it was not what I was expecting. I had looked it up and it had said that it was a spectacular Christmas lights show and had a map of all these places you could go along to see the lights. Well, I'm gonna put in some video. To me, it wasn't super spectacular. And I found them very difficult to find if there were any more lights. So that was also a bit of a letdown, but I haven't given up. I'm gonna go next weekend to look at more lights and hope that they are better. So then this morning I left pretty early because I had the parade today, as I had told you. Came home to check on Duncan real quick, then went to head to the parade. As I did, someone rear-ended me. I am okay. My car does not have too much damage. However, I haven't had it looked at yet and I personally was feeling fine, but of course the adrenaline kicks in right after and that's what it's supposed to do. But now that it's worn off, I have a bit of low back pain. Occasionally my right shoulder and arm is hurting a bit, but I can't say yet if that's attributed to getting hit or if that's from just being in the car so much today or from stress and tension. Who knows? Could be a combo of all. But I guess I will see how I'm feeling tomorrow and go from there. And so the parade went well. The floats I thought were great this year. Our theme, I don't think I told you, was uh, Hawaiian Christmas. So everybody really got into that theme. It was a really good job. I didn't get to get video of it because I was taking pictures and the, pic the camera I was taking pictures with decided to not work for me. So this, this camera that I would have recorded the video on had to be my backup to get pictures. So I can try to put in some of the good pictures for you if you want to see a little parade, but it went well. It was a perfect day weather-wise. It was probably 40 degrees and sunny, so really couldn't ask for better parade weather in December. And after that, I had to go to the grocery store because I had nothing in my refrigerator. And as you can probably hear, I'm doing some laundry, kind of just getting settled. And once I post the pictures, probably gonna try to relax for the, well, I gotta fill out my planner, but possibly do a workout because I haven't done one in a few days, but I also gotta see how I'm feeling with my back and everything. Anyway, now I feel like I'm just getting rambly and complaining, so I don't want to do that, but the weekend wasn't quite what I hoped to show you, so hopefully this week and next weekend will be better, but that's life. Things happen sometimes. There's the scoop. I'm going to go take care of some other things, and most likely, unless something interesting comes up, I'll see you sometime this week. But I hope your weekend went well. Hope you did something fun. Let me know down in the comments what you did. 
and I'll talk to you soon. Good morning, it's the next day and unfortunately when I woke up today the back pain was not any better. So I have a appointment with my doctor tomorrow morning or my doctor's office and we will see what they say and go from there but that's the latest and now I'm off to work and hope you're having a good day and I'll talk to you later. Just wanted to update you on the back situation. Yesterday afternoon and evening it felt a lot worse. So, but then this morning when I woke up it felt a lot better. But the doctor seems to think it's just muscle soreness from being tense and to keep on it with heat and keep up with the ibuprofen for a few days. And if it gets worse or changes I'll follow up with them, but that's the scoop, so hopefully those things will work, and hopefully it just continues to get better. And now I gotta go get a heating pad. Progress is being made because I was just able to do some very gentle yoga meant for the lower back, and I didn't feel any pain. I did go very slow and not do my usual intensity of yoga and took it very easy just because I didn't want to accidentally pull something or make things worse or whatever so I'm glad I was able to do that and it actually kind of made it made me feel a bit better being able to stretch and stuff like that so I will be trying to keep up with that. I decided to do an impromptu taste test for you. While I don't have an official holiday goodies taste test video like I have in past years, I did pick up a couple of things and I picked them up at least a month ago. Because yes, Christmas snacks were out, out at that time and hopefully you can hear me with the dryer going. But. I had to pick them up when I saw them because I didn't know if I would see them again and it's a good thing I did because I haven't seen them since. But you know me and my love for gingerbread things. So I picked up some gingerbread cookie Kit Kats and of course gingerbread Oreo. So I'm gonna, I think I've had the Oreos before but it's been so long I don't remember and I don't believe I've had these Kit Kats before. So, I'm gonna try them for you right now. Ooh, little individual baby ones. Perfect in size and cute packaging. Also, don't mind my nails. I just took my nail polish off because I'm planning to paint them tomorrow, but I wanted to give them a little rest. I'm doing the Kit Kat first because I have a feeling the Oreo will be stronger flavored and I don't want them to interfere. Hmm. upon smelling it, it reminds me of a toffee or something like that. I don't know what I was expecting, but that's not what I was expecting. It doesn't really taste gingerbread to me. And I had to look because sometimes these flavored ones are white chocolate. And that's what ruins it for me because I don't like white chocolate. But it says crisp wafers and gingerbread flavored cream. So it says nothing about white chocolate. But I'm not loving it. It's not giving me the gingerbread flavor that I had hoped for. But sometimes it takes eating more than one, which I know you may, I know you may be laughing right now. But in the past I've tried things and not liked them upon first taste, and then they've grown on me. So I'm gonna give it another shot. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm a bit disappointed. These special flavor ones are always hard to find, and I'm not a big fan. It doesn't taste like gingerbread to me, it just tastes sweet. So, now you know. On to the Oreos. Hopefully they won't disappoint. Oh, it doesn't have the little sliding. Th Why do they do that sometimes on these limited edition ones? They don't have the little slide open packaging. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. It was hidden. Hidden back here in the corner. I couldn't find it. Well, that's a relief. 
Oh, cute. They got a little gingerbread man on them. They got a little gingerbread man. Gingerbread looking cookie. The filling looks like it's got bread in it, which is interesting. And it says gingerbread flavored cookie. Oh, cream with crunchy sugar crystals. So maybe that's what that bread is. Again, not what I was expecting or remembered from when they had them long ago. So they must have changed them. And I did just notice that it says there's five festive designs. So it's not just gingerbreads. There's all there's all different designs on the cookies. Like this one has a Christmas tree. I like the flavor of the gingerbread cookie. I'm not sure about the filling. I wish they didn't put the sugary crystals in it. I swear it tasted like peppermint. And peppermint and gingerbread, you would think because they're both Christmassy go together, but I don't think they go together. So I feel like I need to taste the cream better. Okay, so it didn't taste like peppermint this time. But I still think I could do without the sugar crystals. But I think I will enjoy the gingerbread Oreos much more than the Kit Kats. Don't know if I'd run out to get them next year, but I'm glad I got to try them. And I will enjoy the rest of the package. As for the Kit Kats, I'll have to find somebody else that likes them. Because while I could maybe eat a few here and there, I'm definitely not going to eat the whole bag. There's my taste test for you. Now I'm going to relax, put my heating pad on, and just chill out for the rest of the night. <laughs>